Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now this one's just going to be the final on the Revel Starsky and Hutch Torino. As you can see we're pretty much almost ready just to put it all together and have done with it. Uh, so we'll just run through everything we've done uh, before we close it all up inside and then we'll move on to the next clip where hopefully this thing's all finished up. But you know, before we start, I just do want to say a, a big thank you to all the supporters of the channel. Everybody who's subscribed, stays subscribed, uh, watches the videos, comments on the videos. It's all greatly appreciated. Uh, now, the other thing, obviously, I if you've noticed, I have changed the channel name. Now, really, I've been meaning to do it for a long time. Um, it was a bit of a rush getting the channel started up I was really pushing to get that video out on last Christmas Eve and I've never really been uh, happy with that name so I just thought I'd keep it make it a lot simpler uh, I don't know if I'll, I'll stay happy with this name but you know it's it, it's it's just something I wanted to do so I thought in the in the channel's early days we'll just get it changed and move forward from there but yeah hopefully that that won't put anybody off or anything um it's it's literally just a, a channel name change uh, and that's it so so yeah moving on um we'll start having a look at the pieces we've done on on this uh first of all we'll, we'll have a look at the chassis um we've seen most of this before like um you know i've pretty much kept the top half uh box stock um except from the air cleaner and the and the valve covers uh you know i'll show you the ones which came in in the kit there uh, once we look at the chrome tree but yeah we just got some i found some nice uh cobra valve covers in there and a different air cleaner from the parts box they're all chrome but i just painted everything flat black or sat in black sorry and um just while the paint was drying we, i just got in there with a the cotton cotton bud and just wipe the wipes uh, the black off just because uh, there was some nice nice detail in that so that's just brought out that detail makes makes that look a lot nicer anyway we just did a bit of basic wiring to it and um if you if you like me and you you want to glue the the car support on uh before you paint it just be prepared you're gonna you're gonna struggle getting this uh transmission through the through the gap in here i mean i had to I kind of knew from the early days once I glued that on that it was going to give me a little bit of a problem getting this engine in. So, yeah, I mean, you do. I mean, I did manage to get it in, but I had to put the fan in the shroud and really coax it forward, bending this uh, as much as I can just to drop that transmission down. But, you know, I think that, I think that looks all right, like, for, you know, for what, for what we've got, like, um, other thing is, is I, I did dull coat. I think in all the previous videos, the wheels have been in the in the chrome finish. Um, I did black wash them, but they didn't bring them down enough. So I, I just went over this morning, quickly masked up the wheels. The, these tires are great because you can just slot them off, and so I just quickly masked up the wheels and gave them a, a, a flat coat. And I think that's given me the exact look I was after. It's really highlighted the black wash in there and it's it's toned it down looking a bit more like what was on the car so but yeah i mean underside underside with um obviously we changed all the wheels up you know they're the airy wheels or however you pronounce that that manufacturer um before i glued them on like we had to shorten the ends of the axles and uh for, for these Y tyres to fit on um, and we have to do a bit of work on, on the front as well uh, but yeah I painted all the black like because these airy wheels they don't they, they come with quite a lot of injection marks on the on the back of them so I just I just sanded off the the backs of the wheels and then um, just painted them in black rubber Tammy of black rubber uh what else we've done oh we've obviously got the hangers we, we had to make the hangers for this rear axle because like i say they they just drop into thin air otherwise and and again if you if you want these 
uh, torsion bars to fit into the chassis then you, your wheels are going to be slightly forward uh, to accommodate for the rake on it so. but yeah I mean in all fairness you know the chassis the chassis kind of goes together pretty well I mean it's just it, I mean the, the exhaust went on perfectly the the engine glues together really nicely it's just like you know at one point after they've done the body and maybe some of the, the interior um they just handed it to another team to to add all the wheels on and axles to support the wheels for the star ski and Hutch thing and you know it looked like team b kind of fell down a bit with the with how this kit goes together but you know i think it looks all right like I say i mean exhaust goes on the fits lovely to the chassis like and it is a nice chassis and even though we cut out a, a lot of the front suspension as well to to lower it and um get some nice wheels in there you know i think it's turned out all right just you just all i ever do is just i, I just prime them up in red and then just dust the black over i don't use air brushes or anything it's all just what i can achieve with a with an aerosol can at the minute just because i don't really fancy pulling out um air brushes all the time to be quite honest um as a pet i'm from from the paint sort of paint and body background and one thing that we hated to do as painters was uh clean out the guns after you know so it's kind of rubbed off i mean in later years but it, you know the interior don't go bad together badly uh i did remember to to paint the bottom with the, the red oxide uh primer just uh obviously when it's mounted to the chassis you know it's not a different color in the in the transmission tunnel so i mean that all that blends together quite well now so but yeah i mean um i mean the interior is grand and everything it just looks so lacking once i put it together we'd obviously We'd obviously uh, flopped the carpet in the in the parcel shelf, and it does come with some like wood grain decals for the side panels, but I I think they would have just got lost in there. So I just chrome foiled the, the trim where they're supposed to sit over, and and sort of just set them just under. So it gives it a bit more depth and what have you, but. You know the decals are pretty terrible to be quite honest once you finally get them in in position it's like they've lost all the adhesion they just want to drop off so i ended up sticking most of them on using using a bit of uh, matte varnish um but yeah after it's all done put together it was just it just looked like such a bland interior it's it's going to be really dark in there with the with the narrow space you know you don't get much space through the side windows uh i just thought i'd add a little bit of detail in there just to just to add a bit of color more than anything else uh i just found some bottles in the in the parts box i think they're probably from an mpc gangbusters kit most likely i would have thought and yeah so i just glued a few it's like I bought a four pack and i just glued a few to the front seat um painted them in clear clear uh clear yellow um and then just put one on back seat empty didn't bother painting that one up so and then i just sort of cobbled together um starsky's jacket just thrown over the back seat um i mean it's nothing it, it took me about five minutes to do that i just cut it out as some like uh what have i got here yeah i bought stuff like this from from the uh sort of craft shop it's about a pound for about 50 of these foam sheets uh yeah i just cut quickly drew some it up on there sort of painted it white and then just added a bit of added a bit of the blue blue pattern to it but you know it's i didn't want to go too far because it's it's just going to get lost in there and it's it was just to add that little bit of colour when you're looking through the and a bit of interest when you're looking through the side panels. Um uh, the only other thing is uh, this the de the decal sheet comes with some grill inserts uh to, to put over the grill rather than black washing them. 
that won't going to happen uh, for the most part. So in, in the interior, it has two like rubber mats in which I, I didn't flock. I left them just uh, blank. But this did. They do it again. It was just another detail that got lost in there. So I thought I'd just use a couple of them grill decals to to add a bit of colour into that. Um, yeah, they don't look too bad. Like so, but I think yeah, I'm, I'm now I'm really pleased. I didn't just sort of leave the interior completely empty. I mean, I don't think Starsky would have had a had an interior full of rubbish. But you know, I just bought a few little scattered pieces. Um, once that's in there, it just brings a, a little bit of colour and interest to the build. So, yeah, I was happy. I, I mean, that I could have had this build finished on Sunday and a video out on Sunday, but I think once I started taking it this far, I thought I'd just put that a little bit of an extra extra time in to, to get this finished up properly. Um. You know, I don't think I've really removed much off the chrome tree, to be quite honest with you. Everything's everything stayed on there because it it hasn't needed to come off. But um, but again, we I gave the the bumpers a second coat of black wash just to to bring that that chrome down. Um, I mean, again, you can't really see much of a difference on on the chrome tree, but you know, I, I just wanted a lot of shadows in there, and I think. Once they're on the car, it's going to really fit everything else. Like, and as long as you're, you're careful and you you don't let pools of black wash build up on the edges and what have you, um, ends up with quite a nice effect. And it really does tone the tone the chrome down without having, having to re-chrome it all. And it just gives you some nice permanent shadows um, for in scale like So, so we, yeah, we've done the we black washed the, the headlamps or the the lights are glued in. Finish off the rear panel, um, the decal they give you, absolutely useless I thought, so I just I just did away with it to be quite honest with you and just chrome filed it and black washed it in there. Uh, the lights I just, uh, for the for the reverse lamps I, I just chrome filed and again just put some black wash over them. I wasn't going to bother painting them white or anything, I think it was, that would have been a bit much. I think the chrome with the black wash just suits that perfect like so uh, obviously the wheels which we aren't using um starsky and uh issued valve covers and air cleaner we're not using because they're absolutely terrible uh i did mask off this chrome tree and just give the, the griller a map a map clear as well because i i wanted the wheels to tie in with something and the, the grill on these always looks um a more matte finish than the rest of the trim on the car, so I thought I thought I'd do that. I think it would have annoyed me leaving this bright, bright chrome. Um, but yeah, so everything's pretty much ready there to to glue on now. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, we've obviously painted the body, got the mirrors done, uh, put the put the chrome uh, mirrors in in. In the covers and what have you, and I did, I did black wash them as well. They were just far too bright to be quite fair. So yeah, we got the little bits and pieces once we once I got the chassis on. I don't really want to start knocking all these other tiny little engine bay pieces off while I'm trying to fit it together. Uh, the lights. I mean, what what comes in the in the kit is like this tiny tiny little hamster's nipple or something. I, I mean, it's. That's what I mean, I know these uh, roof cherries wouldn't have been massive, you know, they've got to reach out and put them on top of the roof and what have you, but I just, I didn't like the shape, um, I didn't like the size of it, I mean, it's, it's absolutely tiny on top of there. And I thought, oh, well, maybe it'll look better on the on the chrome base they give you, but then when I looked at the chrome tree, there's, there's that's, that's it, you know, they don't give you a chrome base, and I think... You know, something else to add a bit of height to it or something would have improved that part. But I just, I couldn't use that to be quite honest with you. It's, um, yeah, it wasn't, it just didn't look right to me. So I did, I did make another one. Um, I just found, a, I mean, in one of my many bags of police parts, I just found a, a dome light. Um, 
which I cut in half and they're just painted the bottom in the chrome paint and then just glued it all back together. The problem is with stuff like this is that you know you can easily make them too, look too big on there and you know I think cutting that in half it takes the, the weight out of the, the lamp the, the lens which I had in the first place. We just got some uh, wire ready to to work into the interior we'll we'll glue it onto the roof i'll only use mod podge so if i if i ever get sick of it or i'm not happy with it i can take it off and it's not really going to damage the paint too much and that mod podge is great for holding on trims i think it you know it's a lot better than most glues for for stuff like that so yeah obviously we painted the, the body you know i've got all that polished up in all fairness it came out really nice um Regardless, you know, I, I didn't think I needed to give it a, a, a big polish, this thing. So we just, I basically polished, polished the, the the hood, the roof and the, and the trunk lid uh, area. Just because they're your focal points of the model and everything else, I was I was more than happy with the finish. So. But yeah, that that's all done. Um, obviously painted the underside black. Uh, the same with the, same with the body because... You know, I, I do like to keep them as neat as possible underneath. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to be lifting up a hood or looking under a chassis, thinking in a in a few months' time, thinking I just wish I'd spent a, an extra little bit of time getting that tidied up. And you know, this way, as I always say, you know, you're not going to see any of your overspray, your different colours you've done, and you'll. I think you'll just be happy with it, more happy with it in the. Um, in the long run, but you don't have to revisit it, or you don't have to, you don't have to go back and, um, you know, have it annoy you every time. But yeah, I mean, the body turned out really nice. In all fairness, um, the stripe, I was, I'm so happy with. I'm really happy with the off colour finish. But I mean, everything's pretty much there, ready to go. We we uh, used the matte foil on the on the for the trim. Uh, then cleared over that which it does knock it down quite a bit uh, even more which was the kind of look I wanted you know I didn't want bright chrome trim on this thing and nearly dropping model there but yeah it's all all looking pretty nice um, like I said I've, I've just spent a lot of time adding all the details and you know I, I didn't use the, the kit provided uh, repeater lamps for the for the front fenders, you know, I just filed them and uh, used Tammy a clear orange on them. So, but yeah, I think um, that's pretty much it, really. So, yeah, what we'll do is we'll we'll get all this finished up. Or I'll, I'll start gluing it all together. Um, I've not seen the chassis on the car uh, since it was in its first initial sort of base coat. Because if you if you've built this kit before or you've got it and you know that chassis, it's not something you want to be putting on enough uh, enough times. And I thought as soon as I got the the file on, if I start messing about with it, trying to see what it, what it looks like, then I'm just going to ruin all the file and start pulling lacquer off from from behind and stuff. So so yeah, with that, um, just bear with us a, a second, and we should be back with the with the finished model. Right then, well, we're about two hours on since the last clip. Uh, as you can see, we've got it all buttoned up and finished. I don't think I'll have to revisit this one now. There was a couple of fiddly little things with the trim and what have you, but nothing a little bit of last-minute patience wouldn't wouldn't sort out at the last hurdle. Um, and I'd rather have spent that little bit of extra time as we've done so much else to it. Um, and I know this was... But from the beginning meant to be a box stock build uh just a slump buster something to get me back to the bench and even though we didn't do a, a box stock build and we've gone quite a way away from what the kit provided you know it did its job it got me back to the bench and it got me building something and i'm just i'm just glad i spent an extra couple of weeks i think when i, I first did that first video i said it probably take me a week or two weeks and to do a box stock build and you know this is added on another couple of weeks so I think we're around about four weeks for this so about the same time as I would have taken 
as I would have taken doing a, a, a normal pro project or a restoration or something. So, but I think I, I think I captured everything I wanted to with this with this model. Um, you know, I wanted to take the newness of the tool out out of the end look of the build. You know, I wanted it to to look like something from the seventies. So I think first of all, painting that. Painting the white stripe in ivory, it just gave me that kind of yellowed look. I mean, the main picture I've always looked at is is there's like a, a still from the, the series and you see the, the starkness of the red because um, of the the way cameras were back there really popping out, the, the, the whites and the whites dull off and yellow and, you know, the other colours sort of all toned down around, around the red, so... Yeah, that, that was the look I was after, and I, I think I really captured the the seventies look on this one. Um, you know, from from using them airy wheels, I know they're a little bit wider in the front, but I think especially with them with it all toned down and washed down and what have you, I think it, it's like I say, it, it, I think it's got the right look. Um, I mean, I'll take it off here. I've, I've still got to be very careful with it. I'm afraid because it's. It's still pretty much gluing, but um, you know, just to get a bit of a bit of a better look around it. You know, the front end we used, um, we did use the kit uh, decals for the for the end pieces, for the grills, for the for the lights, which which were placed behind the behind the front grill. And in all fairness, I think they look all right. I just couldn't think of anything else which would sort of give me that look i didn't want to leave them off and i didn't want to use the whole set of de decals across the front grill but you know i think you know that that gives you a nice little look there like i say we've, we've black washed all the bumpers and what have you and uh black washed the the headlamps and but i think you know i think that's that's looking pretty good uh the wheels like I say the wheels i'm so glad i, I took that last minute step to to uh, use the matte varnish or matte clear over the over the uh, chrome wheels, and, and I think that really adds to the look which I was after. And it's really more how the the real car looks and what have you. So, but yeah, I mean the stripe couldn't be more happy with the stripe. I think I got it really nice and even. And I don't measure anything in all fairness. I, I you know I didn't measure the roof chop on that on that fifty five Ford. I do pretty much everything by by eye so to speak you know all the lines were just use i used uh mixtures of tamiya tapes and just did it all sort of freehand so to speak but you now i think i got the shape of it and the way it continues over the roof you know pretty pretty straight and what have you and there's no more of a ridge on there as if you if you uh cleared over them decals and you know, I don't think I would have, I think with the struggle I had with the decals, with the, the lack of adhesion to them once they would sort of got wet and dried again, um, I think I would have just had an, an absolute nightmare with with them white stripes. I mean, I, I just don't think I'm good enough for the decals. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, I'm glad I went the extra mile and did the, the pinstripe as well. I don't think it would have looked right without the pinstripe and it just adds that bit of depth to it and what have you and as you can see we got the got the roof light mounted i just uh once before i glued it all together i just glued the wire down the a pillar and just left it flopping about until i got the chassis on because i knew I, with how tight the chassis is that it would it would literally just uh get snapped off and then leave a big glue mark on the roof and like I say I've only, I've only used Mod Podge on that you know so worse comes to worse and that needs to come off then I should be able to 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 polish the roof again and not have it really into the paint or anything but yeah I mean um, not really much going on from the rear but you know we just just detailed up the the kit parts really um but yeah, I think the chrome looks pretty good on there now. We dulled it all down and what have you, but um 
The one thing I didn't show you was, I mean, in the interior, you can't really see it now, to be quite honest. It, it's it's lost on the camera, but we we did put a new, we did put a different radio in there. Um, I very much doubt you'll see it from every, any angle in with, without that, this interior is. But yeah, it, it's, you can still sort of pick out the details and in real life, you can see a lot more inside there. Hence why I wanted to show it before I glued it all together, because... On camera you just lose all that to be quite honest with you and I think once I did the radio I think that was the last remaining bit um, but I replaced which was specific to the Starsky and Hutch thing I mean this was the radio they gave you I paid it up and as soon as I put colour on it I just thought it looked like a, a Fisher Price toy cash rest register so yeah that went and obviously we've not used the decals or the wheels or the air cleaner or the valve covers which were specific to the air um the Starsky and Hutch one and tires and the dome lights uh pretty much everything which was put in the kit for this for this issue you know we've, we've not used but I don't want to knock it because you know you can still build a nice looking model but I think yeah I think uh, the only thing we haven't really looked at is the the engine, and I, I'm I'm really glad I kept everything dark in there, and you know just picked up on a few little details and changed up a few different things. But you know the one thing I I ain't got another kit handy to me. I mean I've I've got one that is miles away, but there was something which was moulded on top of there which I really didn't like, so I just replaced it with a wash, washer bottle. Um, couldn't think of what else to put in there to cover that, but it just really annoyed me how they just half moulded something randomly on on top of the panel. So yeah, that was taken out. But I think the valve covers, I think it kind of kind of suits the car, the look of the car, and it is a little bit custom. But you know, I'm really happy with that. With the, I think the chassis all come out pretty nice now. If I can just flip it without dropping it on the bench like but yeah I think we got the chassis all looking a lot better like I say I'm really really pleased with the hangers we made and what have you for the for the rear for the rear axle and it's it like I say I, I don't go to to much extent to detail the chassis you know it's it's gonna it's gonna stay on it on its on its four wheels most of its time so I mean, the only thing I did leave as a little bit of a custom touch was the white lettering on the on the inside. Uh, the kit I stole this off had white lettering on both sides, but I just thought I'd take the outside off to give it a black wall. But on the in, on the inside, just left the white the white letters just to give it a little bit of colour, some a little bit of interest in there. But but yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with it. Got me back to the bench. Um, but I think the last thing we'll do is we'll just quickly throw it in the light box as I usually do. Uh, just to, the light box which is obviously far too small for these kits. But you know just to to give it another look in a different light. And then um, we'll sign the, we'll sign the, uh, sign the video off and what have you. But no. Uh, so, so what we'll do is we'll be back in a second. Right then, well as always with these finals, you know, for the we've just thrown it in the light box just to get get it get a look at it in a bit of a different light and just take that last opportunity to to have a look round it before before we close the video. But again, I know I've said it a million times, but I, I really couldn't be happier with this one. I think the overall look I got was exactly what I was after. You know, I nearly went custom paint. Yeah, did the stripe in a different colour, did the body in a different colour, but um, I don't think I would have. I would have just left the project still to be done because I've always wanted to build the Starsky and Hutch Torino. You know, it's another movie car done. Yeah, now I know with this one, I don't have to revisit it again. Um, you know, it'll go in a display case when when I buy one and. You know, it'll sit ha quite happily with the rest of the ones which I've done for the channel. Which, you know, I, I do put, I do try and go that extra mile to 
you know, make them a little bit different and, you know, just have that little bit of extra work into them. So we're not just building a, a run of the mill kit, which, you know, people have done before and what have you. So, but again, uh, I just want to take the final opportunity, you know, just to say big thank you to everybody who's watched the videos and watches all the rest of the videos and hopefully you know we'll have some other nice projects on you know my project list is getting getting bigger but you know there's a a lot of good stuff in there for the future and so i think the next thing is we need to we need to concentrate on the 65 galaxy get that project finally finished off and work on the usacc 55 ford and i think and that'll pretty much run us up until january so we've got another another couple of projects in us left till the end of the year so to speak and but you know whatever you're doing this well i'm saying this weekend it's it's only wednesday really but you know whatever you're doing this evening um you know have, a, have yourself a great time uh really hope you've enjoyed the video and hope you've enjoyed the outcome of this little build and I know it's taken a longer than I thought and you know we're we're into a month on this thing but appreciate everybody's patience while we we just got took a bit of extra time just to to sort of get this thing finished off so you know with that um you know I'll just close the video off and wish you all the best until the next video okay see you soon